Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to take 6.5 quarts and convert it into fluid ounces. Now to do this, we need the conversion factor from quarts to ounces. Now it doesn't look like from the chart that I have that we can convert this directly from quarts to fluid ounces. So uh, based on the conversion factor, this first one, one quart is four cups. I'm going to convert 6.5 quarts into cups just to start out with. So I've got my 6.5 quarts. And I'm going to have to multiply this by some fraction here, which is going to get rid of the quarts. So I've got to have my quarts in the denominator. Now I want to multiply this by 1. Uh, so whatever value I have in this green fraction has to be the same thing. Something divided by itself, but with different units. Specifically in this case, we're going to change the quarts into cups, which is that first conversion factor. And it's 4 cups for every 1 quart. What this does is it cancels out our quarts, and then we can multiply these straight across. So I've got 6.5 times 4, which is 26 cups now, because that's the only units that remains. And you could say it's over 1, but I'm just going to write this as 26 cups, because anything divided by 1 is itself. So 6 and a half quarts is the same as 26 cups. But we don't want this answer in cups, we want it in fluid ounces. So I'm going to take my 26 cups and I'm going to convert it into my fluid ounces using this conversion factor. And that is that for every one cup, and yes, I do want this on in the denominator so that my cups cancel, because 26 cups is the same as 26 over 1, so we can cross simplify those. But it's one cup for every eight fluid ounces. So we can see right here as well that the cups are going to cancel. And I have 26 times eight, which will give me my answer in fluid ounces. And right here I have 208 fluid ounces. And that would be my final answer right there. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, uh, if you liked the video, if it helped out, Please click the like button and subscribe to the channel, then leave a comment below.